so friends in this video i will tell you how to apply coc for class work so before submitting the application for coc through e-pariksha we have to keep ready some certificate so the certificates to be uploaded are 10th mark sheet 10th passing certificate 12th mark sheet 12th passing certificate btech final year mark sheet btech degree or certificate if you have done gme then gme final year mark sheet gme passing certificate STCW courses certificate like FPFF, PST, SSR, EFA, ST, SD, SD, advanced courses certificates like AFF, MFA, PSCRB, ERS certificate, high voltage certificate. If you have done boiler course, then boiler certificate, CDC, first two, last two pages, and stamp page, passport, first two and last two pages, testimonials, all, C service letter medical certificate for this medical certificate you can visit any dg approved doctor and just tell him that you want the medical certificate for the mmd purpose only so he will issue you nx4 and nx5 and it will cost around 400 to 500 rupees then you have to upload indoor certificate signature and result the result you will get from e pariksha i will tell you after in my next slides so the size for all the certificates should be between 150 to 300 kb and for signature it should be 10 to 20 kb so friend these are all the certificates which you have to upload before submitting your application for coc on e pariksha so now i will tell you how to take the result from e pariksha so please watch this video for getting your result first you should log into e pariksha So as you will log in the first page will be your exam result page as you can see so before taking this result the important thing is that the name should be mentioned in your screenshot which you are taking so you have taken the screenshot of the result then we will move towards our application section so you can see there it is mentioned certification so after clicking on certification you will get these two options fee detail and coc application form so first if you want to pay the fees you can move towards our fee detail and as you have seen that i have paid my fee so it is showing payment accepted successfully you can pay the fees after also at the time of submission after uploading all the documents so here you can check your all details address place of birth date of birth and then move to the next page page 2 Now here this section is the main section where you have to upload all the documents which I have mentioned in the first slide. Now click on this upload documents for COC. A window will appear in which you have to upload all the documents. So the size for signature it is around 10 to 20 KB and for rest all certificate it is between 150 to 300 KB. So upload all the documents as per the list. Now moving towards down will get an option named as result so here you have to upload that screenshot which i have told you in my first slide the result with your name and for adding this documents other documents there is one option add row from there you can add the all document so i have uploaded and submitted my application so it is not showing for me After uploading all documents, select save and move towards down here you will get one option called submit or pay fees. If you have not paid it earlier, so you have to pay the fees and submit it. So I have submitted my application so it is showing pending for approval. Now after pending some error is given by e-pariksha, they can tell you that your photo is not proper. So for changing your photo, go to profile. And here you will get an option attach and view documents so click on that option and you can modify it from here so the size should be as per the list it is showing so two important things for the photo and signature the background should be white and the face should be 80 percent so it is not easy to make your background white so better use an application 
photo editor and same for signature also you can use any application to make the background white because it is not easy to make the background white so you can see the size of both photo and signature and as per the size you can upload your photo and signature and this completes our application of coc so it is approved around in 5 days so friends i submitted my coc application from e pariksha after 3 days i got an error getting some remarks that birthplace as per my passport i forgot to upload my stamp pages of ctc and there were minute borders on my photo so i got a remark for the birthplace i wrote only the city name but on my passport the state name also was written so i corrected that and uploaded my ctc stamp pages by adding the row as you can see ctc stamp page then now i have to correct my photo for correcting my photo i will move towards profile as you can see personal particulars then i will attach my photo after cropping it so you can see modify option so i have already corrected my photo after cropping i have saved saved it and now you can see i have uploaded and now i will save it you can see my photos are without border so i will now move towards certification and submit my e pariksha cuc application again now before submitting my application i will show you what remarks i got and what i corrected so the remark was birthplace as per my passport cdc stamp pages and photos in without border So now I will submit the application. After submission of the application, I got remark that your application is submitted and pending for approval. And now I will wait and tell you how many days it will take. So after three days, I got an another remark. I will show you the remark that your COC is approved. So after getting this remark, your COC is approved. I got an mail after 3 days that your COC has been dispatched with tracking number. So this was the total process which I followed to get my COC after class for orals. So friend this is the September 2021 calendar. So I applied my COC on 14 September. So again I got an remark on 17 September. So I submitted it again and I got a remark stating that your COC has been approved on 20th September then again on 23rd September I got an mail that your COC has been dispatched so friends I attached this calendar so that you can get some idea about how many days it takes for the application of COC and for getting dispatched from MMD so now I will tell you the common mistakes which we do while application of the COC So these are the common mistakes which we do while application of the COC. So your photo and signature background should be white, and your photo facing should be 80%, and there should be no border on the photo. So friends, this was the total procedure for application of the COC through E Pariksha after clearing our class for orals. So friends, if this video was helpful for you, please like and subscribe Marine Help Board. So friends last week i made a video on how to apply for class 4 coc from e pariksha i was getting a message that how to check the coc number after getting the coc dispatched so here i will tell you how to get the coc number after getting dispatched so first we have to reach this shipping site as i have shown after opening that this shipping site and you have to scroll down and at left corner you can see coc checker so click on coc checker then here you will get two blanks 
इंडोस नंबर एंड डेट ऑफ बर्थ तो फर्स्ट टाइप योर इंडोस नंबर देन पुट योर डेट ऑफ बर्थ So after filling your board details, click on search. Now you can see here that uh, I have clicked on search and I got the COC number. So this is the procedure how you will get your COC number once your COC get dispatched. So friends, if this video was helpful, please like and subscribe Marine Health.